Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's your time somewhere. Hi, I'm Biff Baxter here once again for another edition of motherboards.org news. Just want to announce that I have two weeks sober, not in counting the weekends, nobody counts those, and I'm going strong. Welcome back to another edition. On today's top news, we have some very bad and naughty boys out there in the PC world. Executives from both LG and Hitachi have been caught fixing prices and rigging bids to lock in prices of optical drives. This means that they've been making all the prices guaranteed so that they all make equal money across the board. This is basically like illegal trading. These gentlemen have been given $25,000 fines and eight months in jail. Well, hopefully they'll make new friends because hard drive is a different thing in the PC world in prison. Next up on the news, what is the future of tablets? PC manufacturers who have been playing catch up for the past year to Apple and its iPad, and now Amazon and its highly successful Kindle Fire are losing interest in the tablet market and are looking to focus on ultrabooks because of better market opportunities and profitability. Many PC enthusiasts are hardcore enthusiasts. What does this mean to you? Is the tablet an important thing to you? Biff wants to know, let me know. I perceive a future where you're gonna have a mobile media device and that's gonna keep all of your information on it, but when you wanna have power computing, you're gonna go back to your home, stick it in a docking station, and that's where you're gonna have all your power. Let me see what you think. I'd love to hear what you have to say. This next story involves size, and it might be for the ladies. Does size matter? Hard drives are getting bigger. Is bigger better? This week, Hitachi announced the world's first 3.5 inch, four terabyte hard drive, dubbed the Death Star 5K. This bad boy features a six gigabit a second SATA 3 interface, 32 megabytes of cache, and spins at 5,900 RPMs. That's a lot of porn. Last story of the day. Does AMD's bulldozer, currently known now as the fail dozer, have a chance to succeed? There's a new patch out by Windows that's supposed to increase the performance levels using this new FX CPU and Windows 7. Now, I don't know if this is rubbish. I'm gonna download it tonight, check it out. I'll let Elric know and then he'll come back to you guys and he'll let you guys know in a normal story. For those of you guys out there who own one of the new AMD FX processors, a 990 board, or you have a complete Scorpio system, look in the description below to see the link, go download the patch, and also come back and give us your comments and tell us if it worked for you. This is Biff Baxter. Thank you for watching another edition of motherboards.org news. If you missed last week's edition, check it out right here.